Hi everybody, this is Leonard. One of the uh, big problems that Fiat's and Steyr Pooks have is clutch chatter and the clutch disc is part of the problem. The pressure plate is some of the problem. But what everybody forgets is that the arm that throws the, the, uh, the clutch arm disc, this little, this little bearing here, throw out bearing, the arm that throws this thing back and forth sits on two uh, bushings, the lower bushing and the upper bushing. And uh, what the problem is, these bushings wear out, and as these bushings wear out, as this arm goes back and forth, it has a tendency to wear the shaft sideways. So when you push on the, on the clutch, this arm is going to bring this bearing out on this sleeve right here. As you can see, it's got a, a sleeve to ride on. And what happens is, as this thing wears out, uh, it puts uneven pressure on the throw-out bearing. So this throw-out bearing is actually uh, coming on a bit of an angle. There's a little bit of stress on the, either the top or the bottom. So what I've done, and if you and if you're if you're doing a rebuild, is if you can't get these bushings, there's two nylon bushings in there that sit in here. You're going to have to take this uh, take this arm off. It unbolts with one bolt, and remove it, and then clean the area up real good, and clean these plastic bushings off real good. Or if you're a machinist, you can make some new ones. But what happens is this thing rides egg shaped. So you want to get some. Uh, two-part epoxy, usually metal-to-metal -metal, uh, bonding agent, uh, 3M makes it, and what you want to do is mix up a batch of uh, uh, all-metal or, or whatever you got there, and stick it in those shafts, and stick it on those bushings, and, and take the shaft out, and grease it up real good, and then put the middle of it, make sure the middle's clean, you don't get any epoxy in the middle, and then shove that shaft back in there, and then as it starts to harden, you want to get some rubber bands and you want to squeeze right here where this there's a little spring, a spring clip right there that holds this shaft. And as this thing moves back and forth, now what happens is the, as this epoxy start, starts to settle and you've got everything aligned up in here, you'll be able to throw this thing back and forth just like I'm showing you right here. And as it slides in and out, it'll be a, have a real smooth operation. And this thing shaft this thing starting to cure. It's not fully cured right now, but it's it's getting to the point where that bushing just doesn't wiggle around anymore, and there's absolutely no play in there whatsoever. It's just smooth action. So when you put the clutch in at the front of the car, you're going to have a nice smooth clutch, and it's going to push on this uh, throw this throwout bearing. It's going to push on the on the pressure plate like it should. And it's going to be a nice smooth operation for you. You'll be happy you went through the grief and aggravation of doing those two bushings. If you can't find the bushings, just redo them. Just do the outsides. Usually what happens is the bushings will start to spin. And they'll wear the casting out. And that's what's happened here. This casting's got probably 10, 15,000, 20,000 swear on it. And uh, that's what causes that whole thing to wiggle up and down. And it takes all the performance out of the clutch. Because when, when you push the pedal in... It has to take up all the play on this shaft first. So now everything's nice and tight. You have a nice, smooth, tight performance on your on your uh, on your foot clutch. That's it for now. I thought I'd give you a little in on that. This is the part that most everybody forgets about, and it's pretty important. And if you don't do it, you can put everything new on there and still have a goofy clutch. So now you, you know you've done this part right. And your, your chance to have a nice smooth, smooth clutch uh, is going to be a lot better than what it was before. Ciao, thanks.